Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson sat down with Fox Business yesterday to share his optimistic take on housing. Here's what he had to say and encourage. I believe we can get to the point in within months where we turn the corner on housing and where the biggest part of the housing correction is behind us and where uh, home prices and housing markets are beginning to stabilize and investors uh, uh, or home buyers coming in to the market in, in, in bigger numbers. All right. So if so, why do we need the new housing bill? But that's a whole different issue oh. <laughs> with that positive outlook and help on the way from Congress is now the time to buy. We, we are have... bringing in Barry Habib, CEO of Mortgage Market Guide and Bear Peter Schiff, author of <laughs> Crash Proof. So since Barry, I think, is going to be more the Hank Paulson side, Peter, why is it not time to buy? You have low interest rates. You have relatively low prices. It seems perfect. Well, well, first of all, Paulson hasn't gotten it right yet, so I doubt he's right now. Maybe when he's Paulson doing. gets negative on housing, maybe you could look at buying. But prices are still much too high. If anything, people who still own homes, and there's a lot of you out there, you should take advantage and sell. Because because of what the government is doing, more people can overpay for homes, and Fannie and Freddie can be more reckless than ever, because if the borrowers can't pay the mortgages back, the government's going to do it for them. Barry so Habib, price I, I, did, I did cringe when Henry Paulson said, we need to get the buyers back out there. I know what he meant. I think he meant we need to get banks to start lending to appropriate people. But I did cringe because that's the behavior that got us into trouble in the first place. Well, you can't be a cowboy about it. You can't be crazy. And, you know, Peter brings some interesting points up. But on the other hand, the housing market isn't general all over the country. And it's not even in local markets. You're going to have deals just like anywhere else. You're going to have opportunities to buy homes cheaply. You know, this reminds me a little bit of what happened in the early 90s. The average person stays in a home about 14 or 15 years. If you buy your home now, maybe you don't catch the bottom. But the thing of it is, if you try and catch the bottom, you usually passed it. I think we've come down quite a bit. There are some opportunities. You shouldn't just be blind and look to buy anything out there. It's not like you, you no, throw Well, Peter, Peter, you are a renter, correct? And, and yes. aren't you, when are you going to stop renting? Don't you have anything inside of you that says, geez, I'd like to actually own a piece of property? Why? Right now, my landlord has all the headaches and the problems. He's suffering the depreciation, and I get to use the house for practically nothing. In fact, I was just looking online today. There are so many more houses now for rent in Westport, Connecticut. It's incredible. And the prices are a steal compared to what they're asking for these houses. Uh, you know, one of these days, houses will be cheap enough that I might look at buying, but you, you nowhere is near. I mean, if you think about it. Once we have legitimate lending standards, when Americans have to put down a 20% down payment and have to actually afford to repay their mortgage, imagine how low home prices are going to have to be before Americans with their negative Peter, savings rate can hey, actually hey, afford them. Hey, hey, Peter, there's a lot of people that can afford homes now. In fact, a third of them, more than a third of them, own them free and clear. The thing that you have to look at as well is while renting may be good for you, is it good for most people? Some people would do much better off in a home. I mean, you have, to, well, think about quality the price, of you have to think about quality of life as well. And sometimes that's important. Other people could take benefits with the tax advantage. And what about if your timing isn't so good? What about if we start to see some appreciation in 2010, 2011? Even if it's modest, well, even if it's, hold on, even if it's 3%, you know, if you put 10% down, that's a 30% return on your money. Yeah, Where are you going to get that? talking about hold on, speculating. Point of, order, point of order, Barry, is anybody giving out these zero down No, and they should. Those, those were anymore? crazy. Those were, those were Nobody's stupid. doing it. Okay, okay Peter, go. But look, you know, you're saying, what if real estate prices appreciate? They're much too high. If you can look in general at what the rents are, you can rent a house for a fraction of what it costs to own okay. it, and you can take the money that you save and actually make a legitimate investment Great instead debate, of throwing guys. it away on a home. We've got to leave it at that. Let's Peter Schiff, Barry Habib, let's do it regularly. Yeah, we'll see, uh, see how this thing develops. Thanks very much. Thank you. you. Even more